What's up YouTube, it's Anthony from Compsize Studio and welcome back to your fourth Java Advanced tutorial. So um, I'm back, I'm making tutorials again. I'm um, not dead. <laughs> A lot of you guys have been sending me messages wondering where I am. But I was just finishing up first year uh, university and it was, it was a tough first year but I got through it. So um, that's good. And anyway, so I'm going to be... I'm going to keep going on our advanced tutorial series and once we are done that, as always, we're going to get into our game programming, which is going to be really cool. Can't wait for that. And so I'm going to probably be making an update video when it gets closer to me finishing these advanced tutorials about what game you guys want me to make a tutorial on first. Um, I'm probably going to have a list of them and then I'll let you guys um, send me messages in my inbox um, say, stating your opinion. So anyways, let's get into this tutorial. I don't want it to be really long. Um, I'm just going to be teaching you guys the basics of an enum. Now, an enum is short for enumeration. Basically, it's a way to encapsulate um, a data type. It's kind of hard to explain, but if you had a bunch of variables called public, static, um, final, a bunch of constants, um, final is a way to declare constants, if I never told you guys that before. Basically, a constant is a variable that never changes within your program, and actually you can't change it at all. And so let's say we have an int called, I don't know, say we have um, a video game that um, basically we have a whole bunch of strengths of our player. So one is an int strong, and let's set that equal to maybe three. And then we have another one, let me copy and paste this. We have another data type called int moderate, and that would be of two. And then we have another one called int weak, and that would be one. So that's a whole bunch of kind of like code that we have to type out to just make three variables, um, three uh, final variables that we're going to be using in our code. And a better way to encapsulate this would be within an enum. So let's create an enum right now. So to create an enum, you could create it within a class or you could create it outside of a class. Kind of like you could actually create it in a separate file. But for now, we're just going to be creating it inside of our um, class here. So to create an enum, first we must use the keyword enum, which is E N U M. And let's call our enum called, let's call it power. Just like we um, were kind of using with our variables, it was all like related to power. So to create an enum, we have the enum keyword, and then we name our enum. I called it power, and then we put our two curly braces. And within our enum, we declare um, the values that we want to be used um, within our program. So for this, our powers are strong, and then to separate different variables within the enum, we use a comma. So strong, moderate, and weak. And then we end with a semicolon. So this is pretty much the extent that I'm going to do, I'm going to go into um, in this tutorial. I don't want to um, confuse you guys too much, but I'm going to go into a lot more detail in the next tutorial. But for now, we're just going to take our enum and we're going to access it within our main method. So to access our, e our enum, we have to use our keyword that we called it. We called it power. And then let's say, I don't know, call it P1 for power one. And then we could set this P1. Actually, let's call it player one. Makes more sense. So power player one. So the power of the player one, we're going to set it to power. And then we use our dot separator. And once you put our dot separator, um, this IntelliSense pops up and we can access moderate, strong, or weak. So let's say pl player one is weak. So we now created a player that has the, uh, has is, that is weak, essentially. And we could create as many players as we want from this power enum. So power player two is equal to power dot strong. And let's make power player three equal to power dot moderate. So now we have three players, all with different power levels, I guess we could call it. So if we wanted to print out the status of 
um, one of these players. Let's just go S out, tab, and then type in player one. So if we run this, run, run file, we will actually get the status of this player. So as, as you can see right down here, it prints out weak because we set player one to a power that is weak. If we access player three, if we run it again, we get that the power is moderate. So this is the extent that I'm going to go into this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys a, a handy method to access the values of all the, um, all the, I don't know what you would call it, kind of all the players in the enum. Um, so I'll go over that in the next tutorial, but you guys can mess around with this for a little bit. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.